Very right, welcome, guys. Megaflopolis. That's right, Francis Ford Coppola's new film. Uh, Megalopolis is looking like it's going to absolutely bomb. So, yeah, I guess we can call it Megaflopolis now. Uh, this, is, this is quite quite a disaster, actually, for Francis Ford Coppola because he put up $120 million of his own money uh, to make this film. It is a passion project. It's a, a huge passion project for him. And yeah, it's, done, it's, it's, uh, it's done about $5 million so far. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I mean, look, at the end of the day, this this may, may start getting good reviews, I, I, I guess. It probably won't. Uh, apparently, people hate it. I don't know. Look, I, I have been looking forward to watching this. Admittedly, I've not rushed out to go and watch it. But the reason why I wanted to watch this was because it was going to be so different. Um, I don't think it's going to be great, though. But this is a disaster, like an actual disaster. So... This is an article over on The Hollywood Reporter, uh, and they're reporting on this, and, it, and it's really, really bad. So, Francis Ford Coppola's dystopian epic Megalopolis, or Megaflopolis, which is tracking to open in the $5 million, or maybe $7 million range. <sighs> That's so bad. That's so bad. Uh, it did... 770,000 in previews, but it's not it's not had a wide release like it, it's struggling to Have a lot of theaters and that's not an excuse for it, obviously, but that's still really bad 120 million dollars to produce they still marketed it as well So there's more money being spent on there. I mean this this will go down as Not one of the biggest bombs of this year, but certainly a massive bomb and it says this, Hollywood Reporter anyway, say, As revered as Coppola is, no major Hollywood studio would sign on to finance or distribute Megalopolis in North America after seeing the film at an early buyer's screening before its world premiere at Cannes Film Festival, where it drew mostly meh reviews. Giancarlo Esposito, Nathalie Emmanuel, Aubrey Plaza, Shia LaBeouf, uh, and also, well, and Adam Driver as well, um... They're starring in this. It's basically like a, a reimagining of a Roman Empire, but in modern-day New York City on the brink of ruin. Which is, That's an interesting premise. That's an interesting premise, but my God. Megaflopolis is real, it seems. So Lionsgate ultimately signed on to release the movie domestically, but isn't on the hook for distributional marketing costs. So... I wonder I wonder how much they've invested into it. Cause this Lionsgate has had some massive, massive bombs this year. So this could really hurt them. IMAX is also in Coppola's corner after the director used IMAX certified cameras to shoot portions of the movie with Megaflopolis booked to play in roughly two hundred IMAX theatres or about half the large format circuit during select showtime. So They've really helped. It says earlier this week, Coppola compared the film's storyline to the current political situation in the US before a screening of Megaflopolis at the New York Film Festival, suggesting that the 2024 presidential election may mirror the downfall of Rome. Uh, his comments were streamed into 65 cinemas across the US and Canada with support from IMAX. That's actually quite an astute observation, quite frankly. Uh, if you know anything about the downfall of Rome and you know how that sort of republic fell, uh, political lawfare and things like that. That's actually quite a pertinent take from Coppola, genuinely. It says this, if Coppola is taking aim at the politics of Republican pres presidential nominee Donald Trump, moviegoers may have the, have the option to instead su support Vindicating Trump, the latest documentary from conservative pundit, blah, blah, blah. This is just some other stuff about the uh, things here. I mean, look. At the end of the day, this is this is this is bad. This is real bad. This is boy howdy. Is this bad? I am. I am really surprised just how bad this is. Uh, the cinema score is now worse than any superhero movie ever. That's real bad. So it just means that people don't like it either. So Megaflopolis has been generating headlines for years. 
First, it was about how legendary filmmaker Francis Ford Coppola had to self-finance his epic sci-fi movie because no studio was willing to touch it. Does seem like that might there might have been a reason for that now, to be fair. Uh, then we heard that the director had reportedly fired the majority of the Megaflopolis visual effects team during the production, prompting other crew members, including the entire art department, to exit due to what they called an unstable filming environment. And more recently, Coppola has been accused of acting inappropriately on set. Though that's, you know, unclear whether there's any truth to the allegations. Uh, and then there was a trailer with AI-generated quotes from critics and Megaflopolis's 49% score on Rotten Tomatoes, which suggested Coppola's supposed magnum opus was anything but the masterpiece he'd promised. So the movie's now obviously out. Regular moviegoers have chimed in and people hate it. Boasting a D plus. D plus. Jeez. That's real bad. Uh, it ranks among the worst rated wide releases ever. And scores lower than any superhero movie. The lowest rated Marvel title is 2015's Fantastic Four with a C minus. While DC's worst is Superman uh, for the quest for peace. Uh, I mean, that's real bad. That's real bad. Now, FYI, that doesn't mean it is a bad film. It, like, it just doesn't. If you've watched it, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop it down below. Now, obviously, Coppola has become one of the superhero genre's biggest detractors, declaring that they shouldn't be considered cinema, and that Martin Scorsese was kind when he said it's not cinema. He didn't say it's despicable, which I just say it is. Uh, it appears the filmmaker may have now realised that making movies like this isn't as easy as he believed, and with Megalopolis eyeing a dismal... I mean, Francis Ford Coppola knows how to make movies. The person writing this article is a dimwit. Um, but yeah, that's real bad. D+. Plus. Oof, fuck no. Excuse the language. That's, that is real bad. Yeah. God damn. Interesting. I I had wondered whether his name and just how out there it is would have got people to try and watch it. But yeah, nah. People are just, just resoundingly rejecting it, it seems. So there you go. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Quite funny though. Megaflopolis, ladies and gents. Here we have Megaflopolis. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye now.